Good morning, everybody. How are you? Welcome back to another video with Brooklyn. How are you doing? So, I am going to jump right into it. I'm on my way to work and I'm running a little bit behind my normal schedule that I like to try to keep. So, I'm going to jump right on into it. Y'all, we are having some winter weather here. Yesterday, it was freezing. I was so cold. I had to cut the heat back on. I had to put on socks. I had on a, a flannel shirt. And this was in the house, like in the bed, under two blankets. I was freezing. It was so cold and raining. Now this morning, it's raining again. So I pulled out another sweater, y'all. I'm sorry. It's May, but this weather feels like it is freaking March. You know what I'm saying? It is ridiculous. So I pulled out me another sweater. I pushed, pushed the summertime and the springtime clothes to the side and pulled me out a sweater. I found me some rain boots because it's raining. And it's just crazy out there. This weather, this is the end times, y'all. It's like the world's getting ready to come to a halt. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I heard that the government made that vaccination, you know, the coronavirus vaccination, and they are trying to make it mandatory to shoot up our children, y'all, before they go to school. They're trying to shoot that deadly disease into children. I don't take vaccinations, you know, like the flu shot and things like that. We had to take the mumps and measles and chicken pox and rubella when we was little. And that was giving us the, the that was giving us the virus. And and most of us still came down with the bug. You know what I'm saying? But this coronavirus is killing folk, and now they want to give our children, make it mandatory to give our children this shot. It's like they're trying to kill off some of the, the surplus population. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember this the movie? The Christmas Carol, he had them kids underneath his coat, and he was like, he said they should die, kill off the surplus population. That's what it seemed like to me the government is trying to do, kill off the surplus population, because why would you want to shoot such a deadly, deadly disease into people and give them a little bit of the virus? That doesn't keep you from getting the virus. It, It's putting it in you. Some people have a really bad reaction to it, you know? And I'm looking, y'all, I don't have on no makeup. I haven't been wearing any makeup because of these masks and everything, you know? But anyway, I look a little bit discolored. But anyway, um, it's just crazy to me, you know? So I'm going to show you all what rain boot I got and what leggings I got to go with my red sweater. It's like a, it's a red sweater. It comes down right below your butt, 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 butt cheek, excuse me. <laughs> I have some buddies butt cheeks and I got these on I'm going to wear these these black and white legs they fit really really loose like a I'm not going to say an MC Hammer pants if y'all remember MC Hammer can't touch this but it's loose they're really loose and they have I've shown these before they have the gold zipper missing a nail they have a gold zipper and they have the cuff down around the ankle, okay, and they're black and like an off-white, and I'm going to wear my black rain boot, okay, and it's supposed to be like 65, but it's raining, and it be cold when it's raining, it has a zipper on the side, right here, and then it has a zipper in the back as well, but that's just for look. I don't think that zipper opens. No, because it's just for show. Okay? So that's what I'm wearing today. And I don't know where my umbrella is. When we left work for that coronavirus back in March, I think I lost my umbrella. I lost everything. I don't know what happened. So anyway, I'm having a hot flash. I normally get hot in this sweater because I have hot flashes, but it's cold outside. So anyway... I want to come on here and just say y'all have a terrific Thursday. Do not let any negativity in your space. Keep your chin up. Be positive, okay? We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, okay? So keep your head up. Be positive. You know, thrive today. You know, whatever your situation is, try to, I'm not going to say try to, Make the best out of it because I know it's hard when you are going through things, you don't have no money, things is just going hard for you. 
I don't know what the situation is. So I cannot sit here and say, just try to make a go of it. Because I know me, I'll be somewhere in a corner in a fetal position crying as soon as something happens. So I'm not saying just act like it don't happen, you know. But the Bible do say for you to cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. And I know it is hard to do that, to just cast your cares. Sometimes you just want to... You want to take care of it yourself. I know because I do it all the time. But me and you, we have to learn to try to not worry. It's hard. I'm not saying it's easy because I'm, I'm, I'm worried about stuff right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and worry is fear and fear has torment. And the more you worry, the more it aggravates you and the more scared you get and afraid you get and it just doesn't, it's not, it doesn't put you in a good place. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just try to have a good day. You know, it's raining outside. That don't make it no better. You want to stay home, but you want to sleep. You want to lay in the bed, you know, and sometimes that just, just depresses you more and you need to get out and go somewhere, you know, and then us being on lockdown for as long as we have, it's caused so much depression in people. So I'm just trying to say, just be of good cheer and try to think positive. Again, it's hard to think positive when so many negative things are going on around you in the world, you know, and now they bring it to your door front. You know, with this vaccine and everything, it's just, it's just ridiculous. The world's in a bad shape. And I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news, but that's all that seems to be around, you know? So, I don't know. But I'm going to ask y'all this question. Have y'all ever had something, like, in your hand? Like, I got this in my hand, this candle, right? And just say, I put it, and then you, I put it down. Then I don't know where it is. Have you have that ever happened to any of y'all? It's like, is it old age or does that just happen? Because I had my hair gel in my hand, a whole big jar about this size of this candle. Okay? I took some out, rubbed it on my hair, brushed my hair up. I don't know where that jar is. This was yesterday. I have no idea. Thank God I could just use water to brush my hair up and a little bit of cream or something. I can't find the jar. It was a whole jar of gel. A whole jar. The other day, I thought I had, like, a $5 bill in my pocketbook. I roll up to the drive-thru to get me something to eat, a hamburger. I'm like, where's my $5 bill? I have, like, ones. I'm like, when did I break the $5? It's like, is this old age or is this just something that just... It's common just to forget something where you where you put things. I have not found that gel. When I came home yesterday, I looked for that gel. And I looked for that gel this morning. I have not found that that jar of gel. And I still ain't found my five dollars. Now come on now. I'm not that old. I'm only 50 freaking three. It's nowhere in the world I'm forgetting. That I mean. I had the gel in my hand, y'all. I dug in the gel and I used it. Seeing that my vanity. And then all of a sudden, I don't have a, I don't have no gel. I tell you what, the Cororo bet not came up in here and took my gel <laughs> home and did his hair. But anyway, it spent my $5. So anyway, I'm going to go. Please do not forget to rate, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Pass it on. Spread me around. Spread my videos around, not spread me around. <laughs> spread my videos around, not me. And I want to say Phil Donke. That's thank you very much in German. So Phil Donke for watching me. And choose. That's what? That's by in German. You all have a wonderful, wonderful week and a thriving Thursday. Love you all. And Jesus does too.